I bomb on again tea. I can own or so, and no bossy would she tata. That upon a coniciness, I need a name. Need walk upon Eastern is twenty four. I see coach for a zero. I send it by one guy the cage. Nature that work. That's why I could not talk where I did it. Is sir? Is sir? Is sir? I did go see the tata bo twenty fifth of December twenty twenty three. I would take one year line with the blue before near a hobo, because I could not know. Negative with the updates of an abo by stomach if any mena the other and young can go eastern legion near a hobo. I do go see the final book we have evening tea kind of where no boss say that a gay year be for can we have your from private star water omibo then the old eastern legion come by no Christmas message. Gaya beef, you get say drop or I comment to me on the commission below. All right, over to you, sir. It's the 25th day of December 2023. On this day, the Biafra government will wish to wish all Biafrans, supporters of Biafra, friends of Biafra all over the world, a Merry Christmas. On behalf of the Biafra government in exile, as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, the de facto government in the homeland, and officially the United States of Biafra. A heartfelt Christmas greetings as we wish you all Merry Christmas, everyone to every one of you. As you gather with your families and loved ones during this festive period, it is with immense gratitude and hope that we address the resilience and the indomitable spirit of the Biafra people from all over the world. This year, Christmas has been marked by challenges and triumph and through it all your wavering support and commitment to the vision of a free and prosperous Biafra. This has been a source of inspiration. We recognize the sacrifices you make daily and the strength you have exhibited in the face of all the adversity. Today being the 25th day of December 2023, Biafra land remain under lock and key. It is a history that has been made because you cannot be very comfortable celebrating Christmas in the Islamic State. While you are doing that, you may not live to celebrate for a very long time. So it is better we tackle the issue at hand than enjoying the little you can and never to enjoy it anymore or allow your children, unborn children and your coming generation to suffer for the crimes you have committed by not living up to expectation and rising up to defend your future. So today, the Air France has made history. Everywhere is locked down. As we celebrate the joyous season of Christmas and look forward to the opportunities the new year will bring to us. Let us also celebrate the triumphs and the aspiration of the Biafran people from all over the world. I want to remind you all the Finland Convention was a success. It stands as a beacon of hope and amalgamation, reflecting the indomitable spirit of the community determined to realize their dreams of freedom. The spirit of Christmas reminds us of the importance of unity, love, and compassion. It is this spirit that will express our gratitude to each other as a Biafra, for, the, for our resilience 
and unwavering dedication, contribution, and collaboration to the cause. Your collective effort accords to the foundation of a brighter future for our beloved Biafra nation. My fellow Biafran from all over the world, as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic of Mentinaita and the de facto government officially the United States of Biafra. The entire government of the Biafra, both in the homeland and in exile, they wish to extend their sincere appreciation for your trust and support, your courage in the pursuit of justice and freedom is what is what our what propels us forward. And together, we stand firm in our resolve to attain the aspiration of the entire Biafra people. We are extending and expanding our territory and today we are happily and we are in talk and we are in alliance with the Middle Belt. The Middle Belt has come under the Biafra government and in a matter of weeks the army that will be operating securing the people securing indigenous people, Christians, and other indigenous people in the Middle Belt will be called the Biafra Liberation Army. The Biafra Liberation Army will start securing the entire Middle Belt of Nasarawa, Taraba, Kogi, Plateau, Benue and the rest of those who has signed and gone into alliance with Biafra. In a matter of days, you are going to have a very clear understanding of the map to which Biafra government has expanded up to the Middle Belt. It is the choice of the people. They can no longer be safe in under Nigeria, under Islamic Nigeria. They can no longer be safe as women, children are being butchered on daily basis. I told them that if care is not taken, we will expand. This expansion is not an invasion. Rather, it is an extension and open arms for brotherhood and to extend our heartfelt and gratitude to those who wish to be one of us. So, on this note, I'm using this opportunity as the Prime Minister of Biafra and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Biafra that will be operating in the Middle Belt in a few, few weeks' time to call on all well-meaning citizens, indigenous people from the Middle Belt who are residing in diaspora to understand that the help they have craved for has come. The security of their farmland, the security of their women and children has come. Those that have cried for many years. The help you have prayed for has come. Biafra will seal the entire Middle Belt. And from here, we will begin to see the collapse, the total collapse of the Zoological Republic of the Islamic State of Nigeria. It is for the good of the people, it is for the good of the living human beings, it is for the good of the indigenous people, it is for the good of those who have risen up to defend themselves and those who are very helpless under Nigeria. I welcome you all this afternoon. Thank you for your continued dedication and support. Once again, Merry Christmas to Biafra. 
Merry Christmas to the Middle Deltans. Merry Christmas to those who have supported this particular movement up to this point. I wish to thank the entire cabinet of the Biafra Republic of Metin Exile, all the ministers, all the representatives, the continental, African, and European rep. I want to thank all of you, Lazen officers. I want to thank all of you who have done tremendously very well in your different endeavors. I wouldn't stop by not thanking those who have chaired different committees in this year. Those of you who has made this particular movement a success. I will also not stop by thanking those that have dissolved. Those of you who have derailed, I wish the spirit of Biafra will once again possess you for complete repentance. But as you repent, you may not be given the opportunity to serve in the government again. Because we are taking our internal protection very, very seriously. Those who have betrayed the struggle, we wish you a very long life so that you will live and see that while you were genuinely fighting for Biafra, it didn't go in vain before the evil spirit possess you. Those of you who have made it a career to attack and blackmail the Biafra government, including the Prime Minister myself, I wish you well in the coming year, 2024. Remember that we are going to have our end of the year gathering of the Biafra government, which is voted to hold on the 30th day of this December 2023. There we are going to explain to Biafrans the achievement of this government within this short period of time. I want everyone to understand that officially we took over the Biafra liberation on the 28th of February 2022. So the success we are recording today, you must start counting it from the 28th of February 2022. Thank you. That is barely a year plus. Not even up to two years. I'm going to welcome those who will wish to talk with me today. And remember that the uh, program where you join, how to join me, and uh, you know, and let us uh, extend, you know, exchange greetings. You have to go to the Enter Biafra. Remember, the Enter Biafra is still being built, not on this particular page you are watching now, but on the app. The Enter Biafra app is still in process. And like you know, it is taking a very long time because we once it comes out, it will be one in time. So, for you to join me, you go to the link we posted on Twitter, on X, on our X handle. Click on the link. And you're going to see a video sign. Click on the video sign. It will bring you directly to our platform where you can now, uh, you know, say one or two things. Your experiences you have had this year, what you feel that the government has done right, why you are happy with the way Nigeria is crying, and all of that. So uh, we have Mazi Eze here. And of course, I wouldn't uh, start this uh, interactive uh, section without sipping the gold. Brothers and sisters, that work. We are drinking on the gold. For those uh, enemies, this is called Christmas drink. In Finland, we call it the Christmas bloggy. And this is the bloggy itself. So it is time to celebrate. And let the enemy die as a can stand to see us happy. And today, we are going to do one of those things that make them angry. So cheers to entire Biafra France, our lovers and their friends all over the world. Merry Christmas from the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic of Montenegro. Thank you. All right, Mazenze, you're welcome to the program. Thank you, thank you. 
Thank you, Alberto Bia. No. I hope you can hear me very well. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, I'm happy to be in the studio with you again uh, after a very long time. Even though the experience of Finland, I can never forget it in my life. You were you were uh, in Finland, right? Oh yes, oh yes, I was there live. <laughs> the bigger one, the bigger one is coming. The bigger oh, one is coming. Oh. We are we are going to have our referendum counting and result announcement here in Finland. So that by that I, time, I, I, we wish everybody to be here. I will definitely be there again, again and again and again. Thank you for giving us that opportunity. I think Thank this you. year has been the best year so far. And uh, the ending of the year has been the best as well. Which obviously we can say that uh, we know exactly what 2024 will look like. Yes. Um, now that they are crying, uh, I can see, you know, from military perspective, there are things you don't do in the military. One, you don't accept defeat. Another thing, you don't reveal your code, you know, or your strategy. And again, you don't tell your weak point. But for the, the, the so-called general to come out and reveal the straight things, you know, is actually telling us that these people are already paralyzed. Yes, they, they don't are. have, they don't have anything anymore, anything anymore, and we cannot allow them to stop crying. We will sustain the momentum and keep pushing because we are on the winning side. And uh, thank you so much for your audacity. This is what uh, uh, we always, uh, you know, when we say command, you know, uh, people don't understand. In the military, is always command. You have to have a, someone commanded. And uh, you have shown us that, uh, you know, uh, you understand the language, uh, the military language, very, very well. And the heat is there. The heat is there. Thank you so much. I know uh, by uh, Friday or Saturday, you're going to reveal a lot of things, you know, our achievement and, uh, you know, other things as well. Uh, I will wait to hear those things and uh, ready to enter 2024, you know, moving. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. No. 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 And uh, also, I want to use this opportunity to inform them that there is no amount of opening of uh, seaports in the southeast and south south part of Biafra that is going to derail whatever we are doing to our freedom. So now I have seen that they have opened the port in Port Harcourt, they have opened another one in Onja. All those things is coming very, very late. So it is not port. We are going to build our own port to our international standard. We will build our own port to our own test. Not just what somebody will sit in Fulani land in Abuja and come in to tell us how we are going to build our port. It is very, very late. So those of, those people doing that, we are telling them that it is very late. It cannot stop whatever we are doing and they should not build or drench in a way that is not going to meet our standard in few, in few, uh, maybe in few months time when Biafra is going to be declared, depending on how, how speed we are running. Thank you. Yeah, I actually commented on that uh, seaport they are talking in our nature. These people think that we, 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 we don't understand construction and all that. They wanted to build second uh, 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 bridge, and they brought it very, very low to the sea so that there will not be a passage, you know, to that river. And now they are telling us that they are building seaport in our nature, you know, so, because I know that when Biafra comes, we, uh, 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 we're going to knock that bridge down. Because it's quite low. You know, there is no big ship that can pass under that bridge. And they purposely did it that way. You know, and now they're telling us you know, they're not building anything. They're just, uh, you know, thinking that, uh, uh, you know, you know what they normally do. Of course. Uh, 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 yeah. So, so
so that some people will believe them, think that they are doing something, but they are doing not absolutely nothing. You know, it's just that they, have, they see that Biafra is here and they are fighting all all angle to see what they can do. You know, they can, they can, they can, they can, they can even relocate all the all the international compression head office from Agoja to Southeast. It doesn't change anything. I just want to tell them this. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Bless and you. Merry Christmas. Again. Merry Christmas. All right, uh, all right. Uh, you know, I'm going to have few more people, few more people, and we. Thank you, my able Prime Minister. Minina Ryugu. On a long bed, Chulo. Obato Vie. Thank you. Thank you so much, my able Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you for your every good work you have done for us. Thank you for the study in our beginning. Thank you for giving us more than hope. I am so grateful, sir. Thank you for everything you have done for us. Biafrans are grateful all over the world. I, Mazen Kajuku, is grateful. Thank you for your water, water. We are giving to this invaders. Keep it up, my Prime Minister. Our leader is proud with you. He's very, very proud. Biafrans are proud with you. We are so proud. The whole world has seen your good work. And we are going to achieve it very soon. Thank you so much, my Prime Minister. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. All right, that's a very short one from Mazi Onyeka. We are going to uh, dance some Christmas. That's my able Prime Minister. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Yes, yes. Um, it has been long. Um, I will speak to you except only once in um, fundraising. But if you see, enter, enter the Africa, it has been a long time. Yes. I want to, yes, um, I want to use this opportunity to thank you very much for all you have been doing for us. And um, thanks to all your prime ministers, oh, sorry, all, all your ministers. Yeah, all of you are doing a great job. But every task goes to you. God will continue to help us this year, 2024, will be the best year. It will be the year of reckoning. Yes. You know. I've been following you from the one before we even meet um, Nadekam. So, I that trust on you on me. I have that trust for a long time. So, God will continue to guide me and protect you. I'm, a, I'm at work, that's why I'm mostly. I don't always, even when I, even when I'm fundraising, I don't put on my camera and I don't waste time. So, I've been on the Fundraising from the day one, 2019, during the time of receiver. So, no day I have missed fundraising. Right. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, continue. Yes. Continue. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Yes. All right. Uh, remember, remember, remember the name I gave you. I was already forgotten. Go ahead and remind me. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's the name I gave you. Maybe the time of the or maybe you forgot it. You do not have your own song. No, what up? Somebody is, somebody is working on compiling all the names. Okay, okay. yeah, yes, yeah. so, you do not have your own So, no matter how you can run fast, yeah, when you go to that, you do. You will say, man, cool down. So, that's what you are. They have tried all their possible best. Thank you, thank you. Once, once they, they go to that review of uh, of what I told you, that's it. Talk about you. We are sick and I don't know the number. No. Yeah. Well, I have one question to draw before I leave. I want to ask Musa, the chief of defense staff of the Nigeria. Islamic State. Why have you not been making comment after arming people in your place?
to fight against Fulanis. And they are slaughtering Fulani in your state. They are slaughtering Fulani where you come from. And you refuse to talk about the war against Fulani in your place. Only to come to be talking Samanepa so that you are going to be distracting the people from the onslaught that is happening, which you ask people to kill Fulanis. I want to ask Musa, and I want this particular video to be caught so that it will get to everybody. Because of December 2023, and a boy, Christmas morning tea. Can you keep the key? Must come here be fair. I see the key. I see the key. I see the key. Benue State, all the Eastern regions. Kabanalo, stay safe. Never be easy. Venezuela, I'm going to come and see you no more.